I've already crafted our magical harp. Uh, it does 41 damage, 23% critical strike chance. Most of that's due to my armor. Um, and your character is always holding it out like this. That's probably my one and only complaint about the weapon. Other than that, it is fantastic. Um, I find some more difficult monsters to demonstrate it on. Now the way it works is it continually fires these magical notes and each one of those is the projectile that does 41 magic damage and the notes will bounce off the things a couple of times until they disappear and the uh, the rate of speed that the notes travel and how far they travel depends on how far away your cursor is from your character. Um, you can also tell by the pitch that the that the note makes. Um, slower shots are lower, and faster shots are higher pitch. So, at distant targets, you can kind of spray notes. Eventually, they'll get there and deal a bunch of damage. But where the real damage p potential of this weapon lies is when you're firing really slow shots and you just kind of saturate an area with these notes. And against, against bosses and or against tougher monsters, this just shreds them. So that is going to be our primary damage dealing weapon for, for quite some time, I believe. I think I'm done screwing around over here. So I also got the ingredients. I believe the ingredients that we need to make our meteor step. I've got our meteorite. I've got 10 souls of light. I got 10 pixie dust, definitely. So we can make our meteor step and Last time I said we were going to get that rainbow rod, but I'm thinking not because uh, while it does a lot of damage in a single hit, it doesn't fire that fast. And being able to control a little bolt, steer it around the screen is fun. It's not very practical. Alright, so... Make sure I'm not missing any important spells here. Still curious about that key, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. Let's see now. Got the magic harp. Yeah, I think we got everything we need. And there's our meter stuff. Now this weapon is uh, new with the 1.3 update, so this is going to be a learning experience for me as well. Okay, that is awesome. <laughs> Alright, so that does 64 damage per hit and showers meteors. Now, our magic carp uses 3 mana per shot, this uses 10. So this is going to burn through our mana pool in about 30, 31 shots because of the regen. But let's try this out because that looks like a lot of fun. I've got a feeling that this is going to be less useful. Okay, that is really cool. <laughs> Alright. I don't know how useful this is going to be underground though. Because these, these meteors are falling straight out of the sky. And attacks that fall from the sky do funny things when you're underground. Yeah, see, so I'm casting it down here where I'm standing, but they're hitting the platforms up there. So, alright, this is going to be our, our go-to gun when we're on the surface. But not the most reliable thing when we're under underground here. So underground, we'll stick with our harp, but uh, 
I almost feel sorry for anything that catches us above ground. Um, I can tell that's that's gonna do a lot of damage to um, to the hard mode bosses. But anyways, we've we've got our armor, we've got our upgraded pick, we've got our upgraded summon, we've got a whole set of very very powerful spells at our disposal. Uh, we are ready to move on with the next phase of our hard mode adventure. Um, we could most definitely do a pirate summon at this point, or we can jump into the hard mode jungle. Um, once you have defeated all three of the hard mode bosses, or maybe even just one of them, um, the boss of the underground jungle starts to show up, or at least the item you used to summon him. Um, sometimes you can find him just by skimming around the areas you've already explored, and if you mouse over it, it will show you its name. Um, can be a handy way to find him, but I've I haven't uncovered a large chunk of the jungle, so we're going to have to just dive in there. But I kind of want to try out these weapons on the pirate invasion. So let's, let's go for it. Okay, so it just happened to turn nighttime. Pirate invasion can be summoned at any time. Doesn't have to be nighttime. So we just need to remember to use our other summons. And we are underway. Now, as we saw on the way to collect our regen items, um, this meteor staff burns through mana like there's no tomorrow. Um, so it's just something we're going to have to keep in mind. If we're going to use it in a fight, we are going to need to rely on our mana potions. But yes, look at that damage. That is nasty. Let's go, let's go back to our magic carp because we're, we're burning through a lot of mana potions with that thing. As you can see, we can, we can fire this thing almost continuously without paying any attention to, um, to our mana rate that it uses it is almost insignificant and that's not to say that it's not doing the damage because when you get them lined up it just cuts through them like butter safety for a minute here. Taking a little too much damage and I didn't have my um, didn't have my charm of mist equipped. That would have made it so that I could use healing potions more often.
was the uh, pirate invasion. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to go over. Alright, so the pirates drop gold furniture as well as quite a few vanity items. Uh, we got some golden clocks. And you can do whatever you want with this furniture. Rather than clutter up a uh, chest somewhere, I like to just set it up on the ground wherever, wherever I'm fighting them. Uh, that's a boss trophy. The Flying Dutchman is the boss of the pirate invasion. That was a parrot. So there's quite a bit more uh, furniture. That's a banner. Oh, here we got goblin army too. Still trying to sort my inventory from this fight. Okay, so Cutlass is a pretty common drop from the Pirate Invasion. It is a very good sword if you are using swords. Swings very fast and deals very, very decent damage. Um, no, we're not using those. Alright, looks like my invasion's here. That's pretty cool. I think that's it for the goblins. Alright, we've got we got a serious, serious load of stuff to go through now. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of some of these things.
shadow flame bow. Hmm. I don't have any arrows. That looks pretty good though. Okay, so we got a lot of money for that. We haven't even sold the extra stuff or anything we're not going to use. That's just the cash off the ground. Um, we got some of it from the goblins, but most of that is from the pirates. So, good times. That put us well over three platinum just from those uh, two fights. And they weren't that hard. Uh, after you kill the pirate invasion, the pirate NPC moves in. He sells you cannon, cannonballs, pirate set, and most important, the bunny cannon. Um, these are not very practical to use, but boy are they a lot of fun. Um, let's go set one up on the edge of the hollow here. to fire out of it. We need a bunny and we need dynamite. There's an explosive bunny. So now we just need to man the bunny cannon. There it goes. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the bunny cannon. Um, <laughs> I'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to use this thing. <laughs> but kind of fun. Why not? All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we have all the gear we need. We are going to dive into this underground jungle and uh, two things we want to accomplish, um, possibly three. There's a new ore that we want to mine down there. There is a boss and there is um, an upgrade to our health that we can get. It's going to end up giving us an additional I think 100 hit points. So all three of those things are very good, very welcome. So hope you liked this episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe to watch what I do next time. And have a good one.